time to throw it over to Jason for the translation. Jason Jason will be in the translation. So first, Kellen, how do you feel right now? Today, it was really difficult. So I'm <laughs> super happy that we won. And PD, would you like to add on to that? Yeah, it was a very dicey day, but today was the most win game for us, so it's a big relief that we secured this win. Kelly, you are the starting support player today, and you got the first victory for the support Karma. So how was your performance today? Yeah, Odin gave me a chance today, and he, told, he wished me uh, good luck, so. <laughs> so I had a very strong mindset going into this series and about, and about the karma. Yeah, I just did my best. He was the um, main character of the series, and you guys were crushing that bot lane. So you were facing against a lot of unconventional picks today. Karma was a flex pick. And so we were waiting till KT to finish their comp. And we thought that it was a good fit for our bot duo. And a lot of Jinji fans are wondering what's the, what makes Kellen and Life different? Our difference? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> To be honest, well, Zion was also doing a lot of work as a support role. I was facing against this champ. <laughs> well, our teammates were throwing a little bit too hard. They ran it down, so it was a little bit difficult. But in the end, we all kind of focused up, and it was it was okay. Do you agree with that, BDD? I don't really remember throwing a game. Well, I guess I'm going to be throwing away Kellen after this interview. Twisted Fate. I mean, Kuro has been showing a lot of great performance on this champion, but you guys kept opening this over to Kuro. What was the plan in this? Well, that was our team's decision. I mean, we could see that on a competitive series, twist, Twisted Fate has a lot of pressure. But so I was sorry for the for my teammates going to the side lane, so we have to maybe a little bit adjust our draft. And Rascal, he's been pulling a lot of different and pocket picks recently, especially Malphite. Yeah, Rascal, his confidence is really boosted right now. And he said he's, gonna, he's just going to kill all the top laners, whoever he's going to face. So I'm happy that he's really confident right now. And about Malphite, it's a good champion into Wukong. And in the end of game number three, you guys kind of showing a lot of sustainability with an ocean soul. Is that the best tier dragon? Yeah, like all the other three dragons doesn't really put a lot of pressure, but ocean soul really adds a lot of pressure. And that really helped you, right? <laughs> true, true. I mean, if, if we had no Ocean Soul, I would definitely die there. However, Genji, you guys were a little bit sloppy and showing a lot of blunders today. What kind of feedback did you guys have? Well, we were having a really great momentum since we didn't lose any screams. But I guess this is a process of kind of getting the um, dynamic of our team. Your next opponent will be Taman Gaming. How are we going to prepare for that? I will make sure to initiate really well and do less mistakes and perform even better. <laughs> Any message for your teammates to stop them from throwing the game? I mean, I cannot say this on stage because I, I might be get beaten up. Recently, we were showing a very shaky performance, but I strongly believe that we will step up throughout the split, so please keep supporting us. Thank you. This will be the end of the interview with Kellen and BDD from Genji, and I'm going to pass it back to our casters. Thank you.